folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Rita, last episode, had just picked our very first True Roots. Then we got this notification. Uh-huh. They're trying to take out some wild Oflin, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. We're going to have some free butchering to do after a while, that's for sure. How you doing? Oh, you managed to survive, but this one... This one went down. Yeah, we watched that at the end of last episode. Um, the rest are up here, I believe. Yeah. Oh, they're taking out the uh, flatheads as well. So this is a mantis. Looks like a point on the end. Got some good claws over here and some pretty nasty teeth hiding in there. Hmm. Anyway, Rita was taking so long walking from there to there that I told her to go ahead and just drop it. We'll come back for it later. And now she wants to go to sleep and she's willing to at least jog home. She's she's tuckered out and it's the middle of the night. It's one in the morning. Thankfully though, she... There we are. 44%. We're going to have a battle before she can actually do much, uh, much sleeping. Um, Cathra told me many episodes ago Maybe you ought to get some traps around that structure. I, th I think you're right. Scarabay, don't s scare me. <laughs> but these guys look a little brutal. So I'm thinking we're going to kind of skip sleeping tonight. Carter, how bad off are you? Good mood. Cool. 56%. I need you to come out here and where am I? And build... A big chunk of these traps. If I click, oh, this guy, you can do five. I need you to do it immediately. Edmund is gone. He's my next builder. Uh, Kana, you, I wonder if you can build them. You are rest of 76%. Can you build these five? You can. Okay. So you, you do have a, uh, um, a construction skill high enough. Umar does not want to go outside if he can avoid it, but I think we're not going to have much of a choice. Though some of them really did not like construction and actually get a negative from it. That was Simon, right? Uh, construction, yeah. So Simon is indifferent. Connor was the only one interested. Otherwise, Umar is the next skilled up of all of us besides Edmund so he's got a chance to build them a little bit faster one two three four five one two three four five I want you to come out and build five of these immediately so that's one two three four five one two three four one two three four five okay you three can probably get those in in time that's three scrap metal per and that is, what did I say, 5, 5, and 4, 14. So that's, yep, I think that works out pretty good. 15 would be 45 scraps, so I think that's my max right there. Um, they're up and about. I see two people moving. Third one right there on her way. Okay. Or on his way. There's a... Carter's sleeping. Kana's is eating. Okay, let's try this again. Kana. <laughs> Not a request. I need you out here to construct traps. Carter, I need you out here to construct traps. Okay, are we going to... Khan is still eating. What am I missing here? Uh, guys. You're going to construct traps by going to grab the sheet metal. Oh. There's only one pile of sheet metal. They probably can't all grab from the same pile. That's that's what's going on. Okay. The game does have limitations. It can't stack orders within the same entity. Okay. So we'll we'll work with that. So you will grab scrap metal first. And you'll grab all of it. Do we have more scrap metal somewhere else? I don't know. Okay. Well, in that case, Carter, you draft and come out over here. And Kana, I guess there's no point in disrupting you until... Oh, I see. Whoever was called first was going to... Was being assigned to do the entire group. 
as far as laying out the materials. That must be what it was, and so they kept canceling each other as to competing as to who got to do the whole group. Okay. Well, all right. At least you'll get to lay out all the materials and Carter can get to work. Just seems like a waste that they can't all be doing this at once and maybe get a little bit more sleep before this thing happens. Um... Hmm. Rita's our best shot. How far have you made it? You're still over here. I still wonder if we want to take a shot or two before they get here, or if we want to just let them come to us and hit us all six at the same time. If we had one long-range rifle, I would say let's go snipe them. But we don't have one right now. All right, so you start delivering, walking through, and keep going. And am I going to disrupt things by having Carter take over this that was risk of meltdown Simon he's sleeping he should be fine if I do this you're gonna keep working okay we're back in business now and you're going to start working over there Kana you come on over and construct these five okay we're back in business um now these traps, I'm pretty sure they can just be reset over and over again. Four in the morning, we're going to have a, a, hit, a strike yet. It's either six or seven in the morning. So I don't know how fast they go. So at five in the morning, I want to get us walking down this, this way. There's no way they can overcome us before we get behind the walls here. Um, actually, we're not building these as fast as I had hoped. Are we going to make that? Uh, who's left? Rita? You just got to bed. Alrighty. Paulette, come on down here. You were trying to eat, but... And I can't... Really, I can't... I can get you over here. I guess that's all I can do. Alright, I'll give you another... Well, you are... You're grabbing a meal up there and going to take your time walking all the way down. There's no way you're going to have time to do that. Come on down. Carter's here. Rita, let's give you another... Now nah, that's five. If it starts at six, they'll be on your heels all the way down. Okay, Draft, come on down. And Simon, Draft, come on down. And is that it? I think it is. Three and three and one's missing. Okay. And you guys build away, Carter. Come on out over here and... Well... And now you can't build because... You guys can't share five traps. Okay. I'm officially stating that as annoying. It is... Okay, Kana, you want to not break. I'm going to let you not break. Tell me you're, you're observing a shroom torch down here. You are. Okay. So we should get a notice here any minute, and I'll just turn you around. I can't think of what else to have you do for the next half hour. Uh, you claim to be better than darts and Carter. Thanks. But now you are probably going back to bed, and that's not going to work either. So you come on over if there's time to get a little bit of relaxation. No, don't repair. Just punch at it for a while. Oh, you got to repair that like the shooting target. I see. All right, we're 5 a.m. Everybody, there's no more names up in there, so we're, we're kind of in position. I keep hearing this thump. Oh, Carter is finishing what he's doing. Okay, Carter Draft, come on up in here, and... Paulette, you hop up here. Actually, you get on the very end. Here they come. Rita, you come on up in here. And Umair, come on up to this end. Uh, draft. There we go. And Kana, draft. And you head up over here. And Simon, I want to say? Yeah. Um, drop you in the middle until I know what to do with you. Okay, what is happening? What are you guys... What's the, what's the bad guys doing? They are slow. Really? They're that slow. Well, we'll know next time. Go out there and kick them in the field. I had no idea. Well, I guess they're pretty slow in uh, in real life, too. Um, huge mantis, huge mantis. Brown and green, maybe male and female. Hmm. And they are going to take their time. 
What are they going to do if they run across somebody in their path? No, nope. they've got a one-track mine now. They have been injured. They've been doing battles. And in fact, let's uh, see if we can find some of these. Butcher. Butcher. Wow. They did a lot of damage out here. Butcher. Butcher. This is why I was kind of surprised the Scarabay at the very beginning weren't uh, um, attacking the Butcher. The Glutch, the glutch that was amongst them. Wow, he just kind of took on everybody in here. I'm looking to see if there was something that happened in the trees in here. There's another one. Yep. Uh, you... Bleeding, not life-threatening. Okay, you just might make it. Alright, we'll check for more to butcher later. We're, we're going to be exhausted and having, you know, breaking waiting for these guys to finally get here. So I'm curious. Rita, come out here and shoot this guy. I want to say he's our closest. Is there anything walking in through here? There's one through here. And who else? Paulette was indifferent. Paulette, you go with Rita. You guys have, I think, the same range. You attack him too. That way you can stun while she shoots. And we'll just see what we can do out in the distance against Manti. Manti? Sure. Simon, it was Carter who also had some, some ability. Why don't you... Yep, yeah, also get two, uh, two guns and one stun against each one. To see if the three could have gone out there and, and thinned out the herd. Or are they suddenly going to... Yeah, they're suddenly going to get a burst of speed. That's what I was wondering. So there is a difference between calmly walking toward the attack and being attacked. Carter, you get back up in here. All right, Rita. Time to get out of there. They do pick up speed. Now we know Paulette. Let's try that again. Right there. Okay. And... Kana, since once you get a little bit closer, and Simon, you get in here somewhere and get a little closer too. And start targeting. Now, do they have... You're trapped, so you're stuck in a trap right there and can't move. But I can't send them in with spears to poke at you because you still got claws that can work. Yeah. So you're coming in from there and you're there. We have another one coming down the hill somewhere, right? Right there. And then one behind him. And then one... Probably... One, two, three, four, five... There's a sixth one somewhere. Alright, what do we got? Fleeing Danger Edmund. Oh, Edmund got back. Edmund, why don't you... F <laughs> He's gonna flee right into the battle. That's Edmund. Come on up here. Enjoy. Have fun. <laughs> oh, good shot. Did it work? Oh, he feels a little woozy. Alright, take him out. Takes a lot of shots to get through these guys. Boom. Okay. So, yeah, set him for Butcher. And actually, we'll set him for Observe. Alright, everyone's in place. Nobody's doing anything I didn't expect them to. Okay, one by one they're going to get here. It's just they're going to take their time. So, I guess everybody gets kind of a half a day off just to get some rest and get get themselves figured out. Um, I'm guessing the way we're doing this this time, that they're never going to get to the far side of this structure. So come on in and get a little closer to the... Uh, get your, your firing radius a little bit closer. A stun gun is able to keep them from getting here. So that's one, two, three, four... One and two, so that makes six. Coming into range, Umar and Paulette, boom, and down. One left. Everyone's got their timers reset. We're going to get six shots all at once. Boom, 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 boom. And gone. Okay, wow. Undraft. And 
all of you guys that's six set for butcher except for you I want Simon though you are starving to quickly observe this I wonder how fast you can do it and let's get all right who's in the least worst shape maybe that's the way I need to look at it Carter's relaxation is okay let's go this route extremely unhappy extremely crushingly crushingly okay uh simon you are out of here too crushingly average kinda and umar low okay you can research you undraft you're going to re i hit undraft i guess i'm still waiting there no there undraft that's what i wanted okay you're going to observe kana you are going to there we are butcher four and butcher i guess one okay you're doing the butchering everybody else is going to go do what they need to do to keep from going berserk on me foods and recreation and sleep and I'm going to just have to leave them alone for a while. But you should plow through this pretty good. How? What is your skill now after after uh, all this time? You're up to a six already. As compared to Simon, who was a six. So you've caught up. Great. Edmund was real close, but he fell behind because he's been doing a lot of physical work with Carter. We're just going to melt down five because you probably just got there too, right? Yeah, low, but you're heading there. Oh, five out of seven. Okay. Yeah, the five that left. You're already a third done. You are cleaning all these guys up, and then you'll haul the meat in. And haul the meat in means all the way up to the refrigerator now. Yeah, it does. Good. So let's make sure these shelves... I did free up one. Keep empty. Let's not allow any meats right now I did want to allow the veggies and that includes the true roots so let's say nothing but veggies uh, nothing but yeah just veggies okay anything else that was critical we put uh, we put just other in here we didn't do that here somebody's got the coffee and teas that one got the coffee and teas also all right, we'll do that. And this one kind of did too. Uh, this one got it. Okay. In other words, there's still a few things that need to be kind of down here for now. All right, so you are more than halfway done. You are butchering two more. You're all probably going to finish about the same time. And you're going to then need the rest of your day off. You're still only low, though you're getting real close. Simon is handling fermentation barrel. Oh, good so you'll haul a bunch of this meat in yourself good 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 that's all you need okay so that's more fuel going in what was the thump Edmund's building something you're already you're crushingly unhappy I'm gonna have to manually tell you guys to go and enjoy your lives again huh what are you holding What do you think that is? That's a brick. Oh, okay. So we're committing to our freezer, apparently. Yeah. So you, what, wandered all the way down there to get brick and came all the way back? I didn't see you do that. All right, so you are just about done. You're transporting, and we are finished. Okay. So you're rushing to get something to eat. Kana, how are you right now? You're still in great shape. Let's... Butcher the last one. The scissor hand. Ooh. I have seen huge genetically engineered mantises in a zoo once, but this creature is something else. The scissor hands, as I've named them. Now, that'd be something else if Edmund or Edward were the uh, one that researched it. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I digress. The scissor hands uh, has sharp, razor sharp front legs, which shred its victims into pieces in an instant 
It's four legs make it fast and agile, traits which get further enhanced by its remarkable senses. Upon closer examination, I deduce that its antenna assists in detected movement around it. Okay, so we can tame it if researched, and we can do a statue now. Or we can just butcher it and eat it. Okay, and a scissor hand has... I didn't see the the quantities. 25s. I'm thinking that's what we're looking at here. 25s per. Insufficient storage space. Because of meat. How is that possible? Okay, that looks pretty full to me. Did we suddenly... So how come there was a square there that had 12 more spaces and now there isn't? Because you're saying that the blueberries filled up like 16 of those spaces? That must be what's going on here. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um... Are you essentially full? You are full too. Oh man. Okay, fine. We'll have it in two different places for a while and it'll rot. Okay, you stay down here and let's see. That's a keep empty. So we'll put it over here. That is going to take raw insect meat and it'll be down here for the the fuel barrels. Okay, so in that case, Kana, I need you to haul all the raw insect meat. And you are now not a thing? Yep, you're gone. So you're gonna find that one, find that one, and any others that we've not picked up. Looks like the rest is gone. No, 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 no. 94? Because four more can go in the other place? Can you get it all? Or is that really the end of your strength? Does 94 really kill it? No, you got 98. That was just a weird little thing. Okay. Well, we survived that one. Simon, you are crushing the unhappy. I'm going to have to tell you guys to go out and enjoy life for a while, aren't, you? aren't I? Yeah. You need relaxation. Can you just appreciate some shrooms for a while? Rita's training dog... And that's part of farming, which she gets a boost out of. So she should be uh, bonded with dog plus 18 and interested in farming plus 18. So she's already doing... But it's not officially relaxation. It's just happiness. Okay, I get that. Carter, you're going to sleep. I'm out of here. Um, yeah... Can you do this as well? Next to your buddy, you know, Simon. Let's see if that... Yeah. I'm curious to see what happens here. Um, Umar is eating. And maybe we can get him to appreciate as well. So we can have a conversation. Stressed out. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, boy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I can laugh at this all day. Paulette, how are you? You are pretty out of it. And played a funny prank on Rita. Simon did. Okay. Are you happy with Simon? Or are you... Uh, um, that is Rita and Simon. Neither of you mention each other in, in your lists. Okay. Okay. So Carter's going to sleep. And that's fine. I would really like for somebody, Edmund, crushingly, to build the the table. But that's just not going to happen. So what are you lowest on? You've got rest. You've got some food in you. You just, why don't you come and enjoy music for a little bit instead? Otherwise, you're never going to do it on your own. I would think that though they are assigned it's like Carter's going to sleep though he is assigned to work at this point I think 1500 there was a do whatever you want in the middle of the day that's 14 
It may have been 14 when I got that order. But if he gets in bed, because it took so long to get here, and immediately gets up again, then I might just have to force it to happen. But if you drop in, what happens here? Insufficient storage space for... Yeah. Alright. So we are going to have to keep storing down here. Uh, looks like everything. And who was transporting Rita? Okay. Well, we'll just let that sit there. Um, I need shelves up here. Or another refrigerator. There is that. Though there are far more berries. Though we could have one fridge that doesn't allow berries. So it will then handle pretty much everything else. Okay. What does a fridge cost? How expensive was that? It doesn't say here. So copy... And you're still, you're going to, oh, only 20 alloy. Okay. I guess that could work. Okay. We'll do that. It's temporary. Once we get to our heat pumps and put that in the wall and chill this room down, then these guys could leave or even be shut down for good if the if the, the cold room is doing the job. Or we could have meals in two different places at that point, though that might be a little difficult to manage since I can't say put five here and put five there. Okay. But until then, until then, it's just going to sit down there. Okay. So you're researching, yet you are... Ah, oh, you're back to an average mood. Okay. Your plus 40 is still uh, doing doing wonders for you. Are you going to get through the night, through the day, Edmund? You are not. You are tanked. How you haven't melted down. Your well, happiness is kind of on its way up. Let's look at it this way. With that, you are going to eat. Uh, boy, if I could just get you to build. Is it possible to build tables? How far away is that? Let's do that so we can start eating meals here. I think that's actually... Umar, you can do it. You aren't going to break down. You don't desperately need a meal. Edmund can do what he needs to do. Carter, are you extremely now? So let's get you to play some music. And then after that, let's get you to construct a fridge. Okay. Once that fridge is constructed, then I can probably shut down a lot of this. Though, let's copy this one and bring those orders up here. And get that built here. Like so. Is that right? I think it is. Or do I want to run one along the whole back wall? No, I think I'll do that. Okay, that's going to go there. And what is all the wind? There's a lot of something blowing in here, but it, it seems to happen like every evening or late afternoons. So maybe that's just a thing. Let's copy you and run you down here. I can't go there because they have people to walk into that space, which is frustrating. Hmm. Do we want to do that? Or do we want to do... Where am I? Copy. Rows here. Boom. Boom. Insufficient materials. Okay. And then boom, boom. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do that for now. So you're constructing a table. Edmund is constructing a wall. Um, you could actually construct these tables a lot faster. So why don't you go ahead and do that. Relieve him. You can get these two done and go to bed. I think we're we're kind of done. That that attack coming in without giving us a chance to sleep really messed up our day. You can really tell. But 
Paulette risk of meltdown. Paulette is getting... She's cooking. Paulette, how about... Boy, if you could just haul and put that away. Where are you going with that? Oh, you're going to cook up here now. Okay. Well, I'll stop you when you when you get right there. Let's go ahead and finish that, Edmund. Appreciate that. So I'll stop Paulette. She can drop it on the floor. She can go to bed. And we'll kind of start this episode up for real at the beginning of the next morning. <laughs> Might actually get something done. But yeah, everyone's just going to have to... In fact, uh, we're at 20 hundred. Can we do any more entertainment kind of things and get that done for tomorrow? I wonder... What if instead of sleep I had you appreciate this? Rita, same thing. Um, play some music. And Carter is constructing a fridge. Just get the materials in there. And then I'll have you I'll play some music or something too. And Is the dartboard up here yet? I don't know if I moved it or not. Doesn't look like it. Edmund is constructing a shelf. You just drop off the materials. Paulette dropped off the materials. Paulette, you can do this. Insufficient storage space for food. That's fine. We'll just leave it there in the oven to, to uh, breakfast. And that's all gone. All right. Edmund is dropping off more wood somewhere else. Ah, out here. Good. Good. And Edmund, you come on in here and... Play this one. Oh, if I could snag that. Do that. And Kana. Actually, you need to do that. You do this. Nope, already used. You come over here and do this. Just going to force you guys to be happy. Dang it. Be happy. Uh, Simon, can you also do this? I wonder how many people I can get wrapped around this one shroom torch. And disagree with Rita on the preparation of soup. Rita and Paulette and cooking, I tell you. They both know everything they need to know. Okay, Edmund is going to play that and be a lot happier. You're, you only got up to there. Can you also do this? Oh, you can? How many can I get in there? Paulette disagreed with, and she needs to go pet a dog. Um. Um. Can you do this again? <laughs> Rather than run all the way down there, just in time to run all the way back. We got a cave dweller. We didn't have that last time, even though... Hmm, okay. So you're still not there. Let's have you do that. Yeah, I know, I'm just min-maxing this to death here, but I want to accomplish something tomorrow. I don't want them all constantly ready to break all day, or two days in a row. All right, so who's down here? Looks like nobody. Whoever gets up first could possibly get out here and get some of this butchering done. How did you get along? You are health-wise. You probably need to be hunted. You're probably not going to make it. Yeah, how about you? You're okay. You guys weren't attacked. All of you guys were... If I missed anybody... You were also in trouble. You got a slash. Tell you what, I'll leave you off until you actually go down. But I think there's still somebody else in these woods. Now, there we are. There was one more. Oh, look at that. They are being devoured by all of these Pancoths. Wow. So you... There's 38% of you left and going away quick. Yeah, that one's probably a loss. Pancoster have found that one. They haven't found these, so yeah, well, first one up. Everyone's in bed? Everyone's in bed. Sleeping away and won't be disturbed officially until 7 in the morning when this hits. They run out of the requirement, but they have the ability to just continue on until then. So we'll see who is the first one up. Otherwise, anything on my list. I got potatoes into the 
cooking by throwing in... At least I did down there. Did it not transfer up here? Tasty recipes, meat pie. That was meat and alcohol. That's not it. Uh, chef? No, I take that back. Oh, there it is. Meat. Yeah, baked meat and chew roots. Okay, so meat pies. Did that make it... I did it down below. It didn't transfer to this one. Interesting. Okay. So... Meat pie. Because I had set until five. Hmm. Okay. So that's in the place in place now. And let's move that up a little bit. And... Oh, that's probably enough. Okay, so we'll have plenty of meat coming in. Uh, the first 200 is going to go down to the drying rack, which doesn't need to be down here anymore. Yeah, both of these could be moved. So let's move you... Where do we want to do something like drying rack? That probably is out here. Well, that's the pathway going in. Let's pop you into a place like that. And the other drying rack... Which one? Does it say? That one says being moved. Okay. So you can come up here as well. Move. And which one are you? Guess we won't know. And they can approach from one side or the other. Okay. And I still like the idea of two small drying racks. That's a better chance of us getting some raw meat and some dried meat rather than all dried meat. Having to try to control that. I still don't know how to control that. Um, two in the morning is taking its time, but it gives me a chance to go through my notes here. Oh, yeah. Wait, am I paused? Oh, man, I didn't know I was paused. That's just a automatic for me. Um, I came up with an idea of what to do with this wide hallway and not needing this wall right here. What if... Let's see here. Where would you do it? Because we are going to... Oh, we are going to use vents. Hmm. If this fireplace was not here, it's the same footprint as a crafting bench. Edmund, what are you doing? You have slept completely. All right, come get some breakfast. Eat that. And then... Come on out here and start butchering. You get the job. So you're going to butcher... And butcher, and butcher. I see the Pankoffs are already attacking one of those. And butcher, and butcher. You're sleeping. And butcher, and butcher. Takes care of you guys. I feel like I missed somebody, but we'll we'll come back up here with the next person that wakes up and take over some of that. Anyway, if a space like that were cut into the hallway and then one, two spaces worth of shelves. So basically the same la layout as our, as our uh, shelter down there. As these guys. Two by three. We could put shelves and a workbench. So we could workbench right here and two shelves right there and get little crafting stations in this hall with a one space hallway down the length. Yeah, we'll see. I kind of sketched that out here, but now I realize since, well, I could do it here too. But these are all bedrooms, so I can't cut in, but I can cut in here, here, to make that happen. So we could get the crafting and or sewing and or soldering through this area. Probably crafting and sewing. And then a couple shelves of fabric a couple shelves of crafting supplies across the hall from but with I don't think I can put it in front of the vent though so I will I will experiment with that who are you and what are you doing oh you just had breakfast okay so you're just heading out there now and use that door because this one hasn't been built yet and that's still a solid wall okay <laughs> oh we're up and running okay so I want everything but Let's see, everything but raw vegetables in this one. 
And this one does not need to have pickled, and it does not need to have dried in it. That's going to have to go over here. So anything else it does not have to have in it. So others, yeah, none of those. All the quick meals, all the meals. And then raws are... How long does the grain last without being in a fridge, I wonder? But other... Uh, slop is... Yeah, we have to move dog up here if that slop is going to be stored up here. Sweet syrup. Under roof is indefinite. Does not to be in, need to be in there. So I guess that's the way of looking at it. Grain is refrigerated 96 days. Okay. So fruits, bush fruits, 54 days if refrigerated. If not refrigerated, 36 days. Mmm. Okay. Of course, this all changes once I get the walk-in freezer working. Then it becomes indefinite. Okay. So vegetables... Glitter caps are indefinite, so I don't need to do those. Buttermelon, chew roots, pickled, indefinite. And am I correct about meats? Dried meat, frozen is indefinite, but it still needs to be refrigerated. Oh, okay. And raw insect meat still goes bad in 36 days. And raw red meat goes bad in 12 days. So we definitely have to, room, have, to have room for the red meat coming in. Okay, so next person coming or waking up probably should transfer the drying racks so we can get that going. Yeah. So Edmund's butchering. We've got Paula up who is getting something to eat. Um, there were two down here and Edmund had one. What did he do? Did he manage to put one away? No. Zero. Did he eat two meals somehow? Or I must have had someone else eat one meal last night. I don't know what to think about that. But Paulette is grabbing something to eat, and yeah, she needs it. So, first person to get up that doesn't need to eat would be Simon. Insufficient storage space for roots. There's no transport up here. Who just got... A bug up their butt to go up and get those roots. I don't know. <laughs> the game just decided to notice that they're laying on the ground up there? Is that what happened? Alright, let's leave you open. Now you can take everything. Until these get built, I'm kind of in trouble here. Alright. <laughs> okay, you eat. And how are we doing out over here? You're still working on the first one. Okay. Anything else on the list? Queue up circuit boards. Insufficient fuel. So we got a trigger from our generator. Um, we'll wait till the soldering desk gets moved up. Possibly. Though I thought I did have those queued up. Maybe I didn't cross it off my list. You have been queued up for a while. I noticed episodes ago that that's expensive. But yeah, two of them are queued up, but nobody has gotten the order to do that. Paulette is going to... Edmund, what are you doing right now? Edmund. Officially, butchering is what? How do I find out? Is that hunting? Is it transporting? It's called butchering. But where does butchering come in activities? There's no butchering. So I'm trying to figure out if Paulette would be faster at this if it was part of cooking, for example. But I don't know how to figure that out. Nothing here talks about what you're doing at the moment except let's see if I no except for right here and it's called butchering so I don't know what that falls into at one point I thought it was delivering or transporting so do I have Paula come and help here or do I have her 
go and do this, which is called constructing, which seems that, but although it's transporting, so it would be Simon if we want to do it quickly. It's hard to, to min-max the efficiency on this because I don't know, you know, delivering is called transporting in some situations and the, yeah, the, some of the consistencies aren't there. But Simon is going to uh, handle a shroom torch. How about you go ahead and handle a, a drying rack for me? Thank you. I think that's the best thing there. And in this case, I guess Paulette, Rita's going to go eat because there's no meals here. Okay, just finish this. And there. Now... Umar, can you eat? Where did it go? Eat grain porridge. Okay. And Paulette, you don't need food right now. You come out of here and butcher. I guess someone else to eat the other grain porridge in a moment. So you're going to butcher this one. And you're going to butcher this one. And this one and this one. Okay, you're going to butcher those four. Edmund can butcher the other four. And as soon as he grabs that meal, uh, I want someone else who's trying to make the walk down there to... Eh, I guess I don't have to have you stay up here. Okay. So I don't have to try to get you to eat the other porridge. Um, Simon is moving. Rita is eating. Carter ended up where? He's up here eating. So you went over and got meal over there. Alright. Yeah, you're eating that. And you're going to go to research. Actually, you're not. How are you doing in, in general now? You're back to good. I just realized there is still one plant we did not observe. I was trying to make a meal and it kept saying I needed to use beef berries and I thought those blue bushes of blueberries were beef berries for chef? No. For tasty? Veggie pizza takes grain and beef berries. And it dawned on me that's this little guy here that we found our very first day, but apparently never got to it. We got to it that first series, but never got to it this series. So I'm going to have you come on out here and observe. I know it's outside and you don't like it. And eventually I'll, I'll have to start obeying that. And boy, it would be kind of nice if you to observe this one too. I'll, I'll at least mark it. That's another plant we have not... In fact, for that matter, we do need to get all of our trees observed. You are the small tree. You are the big tree, and you are the conifer, evergreen, and we need the bush observed. I think that's it now. So that we can put trees back up in places around here where we, where we cut them down if we want to uh, kind of make this look a little better. All right, so Carter is constructing shelves. Oh, thank you guys. Then I can go ahead and shut those shelves down out. No, you're building walls. <laughs> yeah, we're nice and cold. The food's going to be fine. Why don't you come on over and construct these shelves. And Edmund, can you construct those shelves? All right, let's get these built next. And once we start doing that... And then I need probably... Who's up there? Oh, that's an animal. Okay. Um, it's only 9 in the morning. Rita, how are you overall? You're back to good. As soon as you're done working with Dog, who's what? Level 4 now. And turns out they can be leveled up to Rita's level of farming. But I still... That's far as I was able to figure it out. So she can get him to level 8. I still don't know what that means, though. I have not found any kind of a chart that says level 8 equals this. 
you know, fetch. So, but you may as well come on up here next and get all of these done. So harvest true roots. And did any other true roots come of age? We'll word it that way. Uh, harvest. If I were to do this, that's it. Just that one over there. Okay. Although we got a bunch of those guys. And I think I will cancel those. And I will cancel you so we don't make a third trip just for that one bush. All right. So Rita is next going to harvest those and then I think I need a Simon to come and gather these so Simon you are still moving then you need to relax and you need to get some food yeah oh you've only got the first one what okay I didn't expect that they were all up at 7. It's 10. Really. Um, Edmund is in decent shape. One meal and he'll be back. We have one expedition mission out there that we haven't done from the very beginning. Just I think it was just called Expedition or something like that. Tempted to put him on it real quick and see what that means. It might open up something else it looked like it was an introductory expedition and we didn't get to it in time before the first uh, what looked like a survivor mission was available well, let's do that real quick so Edmund how about you grab a meal does one still exist in here yeah uh, what are you stacked up on cancel those do this and there were no pumpkin pies in the group now. So Carter, will you drop immediately into these five? Yes, you will. Okay. So Kana is transporting. All right. No more berries in this guy. Can I? She, oh, fruits, 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 fruits. Okay. No more fruits. Knock it off. <laughs> so you are just going to be on transporting duty okay so let's get you back into sewing duty so kana let's pull transport off of your activities you are too valuable to just be moving things around on us um let's make a handle or is it transport so there's no transport is that deliver or is that handle i don't know Let's make that your last two and make this one a three. That's that's Kana. Okay, I was going to say, why is Construct there? But we want her eventually to work on her construction because she's actually interested in that. But I need you crafting and tailoring and getting us... Actually, I could really use a circuit board too. But I need coats. What do we really need? Um, well, winter hasn't even begun. Hmm. Let me reevaluate that. 21, 14, 28, 28, 24, 28, and 28. And that is shirts and no coats. Okay. Um, I thought you had a coat. You don't. You are a coat right there. So let's continue making coats then. So we have coats. We have two more queued up. How many didn't have coats? One, you have the spaceship jacket, and that takes you down to a 28. So any other coat spaces that are empty. So in that case, Umar, where are you right now? You are observing. When you're done observing, run in here and pick up that one coat. It's a bit worn, but it's more than you've got. And that freezes up to start working on another topic. So when you're done, come out of here and equip a jacket. Ah, jacket. That's different from a coat. Okay, you'll equip a coat. And we'll make one more coat. So we'll do that. So that takes 40 leather or skin bark leather. And we have in stock this one. We have 10 real leather left. So 
Kana, I need you... Slop? Where's that at? Zero. So I need you to make... Where are you right now? You are transporting wood for something. Where is that? You are delivering wood to these chairs. Thank you. I will let you finish that. So you do that, and then you come out over here, and you make slop, and then you come out here, and you make veggie leather. And then we're going to have this other leather starting to show up soon. So Edmund didn't get finished with everything, but I see there's only one butcher job left. Okay. So Paulette... You're still, your happiness is dropping, but you're still in good shape. So you've got this one in your queue. You're going to have this one in your queue. And is this one completely toast? Looks like they finished it. Yeah. Good scavengers. Do they leave us any leather? He was right here, and there's still a Pankoth having a little siesta time after that big meal. There's Actually, there's... Several in the area. <laughs> okay, so Paulette's going to handle all those. So, Kana, you are still dropping those off. Edmund is getting his meal in. As soon as he is done, stop. All right, balloon expedition. Not you. We aren't qualified for that one yet, but you can go explore. Fly in the balloon high. Fly the balloon high and look around for points of interest. So I wonder if it's going to unlock a bunch. New expedition sites may be unlocked as a result. Yeah, there we go. No fuel. This fuel is really becoming a limiter. Okay. It is. So close. What is our fuel situation? Where am I? Right over here. Oh, that was quite a trip. You've got a long way to go. And you are not fuel. And you are not fuel. In fact, you should be cooking. Uh, I see green and I see a 98 and a 20. I don't know which it is. 104. Anybody down here? Dog is. Let's see how well trained you really are. Can I get you to... Uh, no? No? Okay. <laughs> Nobody's down here except Umar, who is... Taken a much longer time than I expected, though he may have spent most of that time walking. Okay, I'll give him that. So, Edward, I guess you are going to kind of roam down here and. No, that's a waste of your talent. Can I get you to get this thing built and we can move in? Yeah. Okay. So, how about just come on over and. Edmund. Construct wooden walls waiting for other structures. Okay, so come on over. Edmund is just finishing up eating. There we go. He's constructing floors. Why don't you construct these floors? Let's build both ends of the building so that we can throw the roofs over the top. And, and these are built. And let's verify what this holds. Pretty much... Where did it go? Cooked meals um, are no. Raw foods, no meats, but veggies and fruits could and others. Um, hate to have to run through all of this. That Okay, that one, yes. Uh, pickled, yes. Glitter caps, yes. These are both indefinites. Buttermelon, chew roots, I guess they're... That's the problem. How will they know to take it to the refrigerator or to take it to the shelf? I want it in the fridge first. But if there's, a, if there's no room in the fridge, then I want them to be able to put it here. And they're probably going to take it to the very closest one that they find. And I just remembered two roots. Simon, you are handling a shroom torch, and you are hitting up top. Rita is harvesting. You're going to follow up behind her and haul these in. So once you finish handling that thing, you are... They can't be gone. They can't be gone.
Okay. Somehow I just couldn't see that. All right, mystery solved. Simon, where are you right now? You are handling a furnace. All right. Can I find them again? That would be at the base of these trees. There you are. <sighs> the way I play games sometimes is exhausting. <laughs> but it's fun. All right, good. I caught you just in time. You are getting that for that. And now I can put... Boy, I could put fuel in there, too. Hmm. I could. Let's do that instead. I was going to put more um, veggie leather so you can make that jacket. But it would be nice to send Edmund out again. Maybe, I guess, first of next episode. We'll see. So Edmund is getting all this done. Carter's getting all that done. Oh, the ends are done. Okay. So you do that. You're constructing a wall and you're holding your head which always means trouble. But if I were to ask you to do this one last roof section, ooh, then we'll be roofed in. Which you can do because, I don't know why, because it's a corner, because that wall isn't done. Edmund, you can do this wall. Yeah, let's just, well, okay, after we do the one I didn't point to first. Okay, you do that. And Kana's busier. I would have her come up and build the doors because she is qualified for that. But Carter's building the last roof. He's holding his head. As soon as that wall's built, we could move a couple of beds in. Who? That's, that's a good question. Edmund is going to disturb anybody that he sleeps with because he gets up before everybody else. He almost has to have his own room right from the start. Which means I can, I can uh, grab him to go do things early in the morning from my list while I'm waiting for everybody else to get up. So he's going to pay for that privilege of having a brand, his own room, but it probably would be the right thing. All right, so with this space, oh, you're walking all over the place to get out of here, aren't you? I should have dropped a door in here just to get us by. Let's do that. Construct a door, right? Can I? I wonder if it will... You... Not construct. What did I do here? You copy a door. Yeah, I can't. Okay. It's just too close. I could put one right there just to get by. Actually, she's going through that door to get here. Alright, that's close enough for now. As soon as these walls are done, we're going to tear a bunch of this wall out anyway. Okay. Back to that matter. So what I was thinking of, I can't do with the research desks like this. Okay. But I can once this bed goes away. Yeah. Okay. And, but it's too cold to move it tonight. So next time, this bed goes in here, research desk goes over here, wall comes out, the wall can come out now, actually. So deconstruct you, deconstruct you, deconstruct the door and the wall. And I'd say that wall comes out, too. This one goes in, or stays in. I kind of like this little island. Though we could take all the walls down and just have the two fireplaces together, but... Uh, Paulette is in a risk of meltdown. Paulette, why don't you just drop that there? Somebody will eat it real quick anyway. And come and do that, and then come and do that. And just kind of, yeah, be better. And But I'm I'm thinking it would look good to put the, you know, the other wall section in, but I'm actually kind of liking seeing this stone here. In fact, I wonder if I want to do the same thing here, just so we can see the stone. Let's pull this one out. We'll see the stone over here. We'll be able to see the stack too. Let's pull this one out. So Edmund is grabbing something to eat, but come over and pull this one out. And we'll see what that looks like. 
So we'll just leave this little T of, of, of logs up here just to make it look like we're supporting the, uh, the structure. But yeah, we get to see the, the raw stone of the fireplaces there. But the two fireplaces combined, and I hope that's not wasting, you know, the one would do the same job, but I'm hoping they were, they're combining their heat output. But we seem to be doing a pretty good job of transferring the, oh, now it's 60 degrees in here. Why did it drop to 60 degrees? What's it outside? It's 32. It was 80 a while ago. And we're 34 in here. Do we open up to the outside somewhere? What just happened? I opened this up. Is the difference. And now the room is too big. Is that what it is? I don't know. We may have to put these back in and put vents just to trick it into thinking they're smaller rooms. Huh. 35 degrees in the bedrooms now. Is it because we're opening up doors to the outside? Do we need a, a, uh, an airlock? Hmm. Any of you who have played this game before, do airlocks do anything? Is that a benefit? Uh, Edmund, when you're done... Can you get this last stool built? And then, yeah, construct this carpet and that carpet and that carpet. That should be like two taps for each square and they're done. Maybe we can get that done tonight. Kana is transporting slop. Boy, I wish you could have just put it down in Dog's Bowl. That's a little bit frustrating. Yeah, it is. Does Dog go inside? That's a great big sleep mat. A two by two. For just a dog. It's a way overkill. It's meant for an outdoor animal. But I don't think there's any way to bring Dog inside here. And I can't assign just a space for him to sleep. Hmm. That's a shame. But you're going to go all the way back down there to craft. Hmm. That's too bad. That didn't work. Okay. Um, is the meat up here? There's only six meat up here. If I had you load meat into this, would you grab that six? Oh, it's been loaded already. Okay. So you, you... And you and fuel just starting. You got a ways to go. But boy, I do need that fuel that she was coming down to craft. All right. And we're going to lose this generator before long, too. Oh, we're going to lose this generator in two hours. Okay. In that case, Paulette, you are in better shape. Can you also make fuel? We got to get that done. So fuel is definitely a bottleneck for us. And Carter, where's Rita? Going to sleep up there. Boy, I would hate to lose these few crops. You are you look like you're in great shape. You have a lot of pluses here. Rita, why don't you pull a, a late night for me? Harvest grain cob over here. And I guess it's all in queue, but in general... Can you do that now? Yeah. Once you get the green cob going, that's one thing we don't have a lot of. And I hate for a, a frost or something to kill these plants if that's a thing. Okay, so you you two are going to make some emergency fuel for us. Okay, don't trans... Well, okay. You don't have far to go. It's the delivering all the way up there that's, that's killing us. Alright, come on back over here. That's what she was doing. She was emptying the bench. Ebony reached construction four. Okay. Good. Uh, Edmund, you are at the moment. Simon. I'm always going to get Edmund and Simon mixed. Okay, you're doing that. I think we're in pretty good shape now. I think the game, once you get it done underneath the bed, it, uh, it gets a little happier. But why don't you go ahead and just finish these. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just to have them done. And you're finished. We got all of our chairs done. We got our table done. Dining is working. Meals? We have none. 
We really do. Okay. This door isn't real yet. Can they still get in here? I don't know. Carter. Can you... Carter. In queue. Okay. Get that one built, just in case... They, people can't even get to this place. Simon is getting something to eat. He got back with his right there. Oh, oh Rita brought more of them in. So there's our stack of, of alien potatoes. We got a lot of them, too. Okay. Unpowered devices. Yeah. But what was all this gurgling and splashing? Right there, she's she's bringing it in, and she's eating. That's fine, that's fine. Paulette, you actually could craft. I can't get you to transport. Okay. I can get you to refuel right afterward, and maybe you go get the other ten. Yeah, you did. Okay. And these guys only make twenty a piece. So, no expedition tomorrow either. So, when we get back to researching, uh, whatever happened out here? We got beef berries. When we get back to researching, let's... Well, I'll finish that sentence in a second. Uh, Fragile-looking berry plant is surprisingly tough and manages to stay upright under the weight of its heavy fruits. The berries themselves don't look very appetizing when small, but seem to become nice and juicy when ripe. I'll name them beef berries because they're somewhat similar to the vegetables that go well on beef sandwiches, or at least I've heard. So, um, research is not here anymore. I can grab it from here. I want to know if this and the other one has been done has anything to do with fuel. So, production, we have a oil press. So, an oil press makes oil. Let's get that set up, and that comes out of grain. And we don't have any grain to to spare, but let's get one built anyway. Right here, let's start. So oil press, let's do two of those. And it's kind of start, time to start moving our stuff up, so these three could eventually be brought up there, probably tomorrow, once maybe as each one of them finishes what they're cooking. Paula is hauling. Rita is harvesting the last of this. Good. And we'll haul it all in tomorrow. Um, but I want to know if that oil has anything to do with fuel, ma fuel manufacturing as well. If so, then we know we're going to have to have a lot more grain cob being produced. You guys have even a chance. 77% um, health. Growth of 93%. We might, just might, squeeze it in. We're so close to winter, which means we really need more coats. <laughs> All right. Um, you're finishing up. You're going to transport. Sure. Rita, it is 2 in the morning. Your rest is not too bad. Okay, so you... Now, why don't you... I take that back. Going to sleep, yeah, just go straight to sleep. You get at least two or three hours before you run out of time. You guys, another herd came in. Oh, okay. Because we killed off the herds. Remember in RimWorld when oh, someone didn't get to this one? And we have a lot of meat outside. Ooh. Oh, you died of your injuries. Okay. And you guys, wait a minute here. No, 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 no. That's our meat. Dudes, all right, emergency, Edmund, what general condition are you in? Anybody that's not in horrible condition, Simon is, Kana's in better shape. Kana, can you come and uh, haul red meat? And Umar, can you come and haul hides? And is there any more meat in this area? Right over here, we've got hay. Anything not get... We've got more hides over here. So maybe you'll get both those hides. Did Paulette leave anything? She left hides and a bunch of meat. Mmm. 
Paulette, come on out here and butcher, and then come out here and haul. Yeah, they're eating it too. I got the right thing? Haul, oh, not hunt. No. Um, cancel that. Paulette, come out here and... Paulette. Okay, now can I? Currently unavailable. What have I done to you? You're just going to take your time. You have to get all the way back down. And then I can say, get up. Okay, you are going to butcher. You are going to haul, not hunt. And who else is not dying on me? I need you to come out here and haul hides. Okay. Sorry, guys. You're transporting. So Rita is actually still in good shape. You actually are. Over here, where else did we do any butchering? Hate to lose all of that. That was such a good bonus. That's poo. We've got these covered now. And the one over here. Is there anything up in the woods? No, we got all those. Looking for numbers to show up. I think we're covered now. I think we got some of it hauled in, but we left a lot behind. And those pancos, I tell you, they're just going to wipe things out. Am I already an hour 20 into this? Okay, okay, okay. Well, I guess you guys can just assume that uh, this got done. <laughs> I'm going to call this finished, and, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.